My name is Vic Chestnut. I'm from uh, Athens, Georgia. And uh, last year, I made a, I made a, a, an album in Montreal with members of of, of uh, Silver Mount Zion and uh, Godspeed and um, Frankie Sparrow and uh, Fugazi. We don't really have a name for this band, really. Uh, no, I wish we did, but we don't have a name for this band. But, uh, yes, at, at one point, we were called Your Mama's Ass, but not anymore. Well, um, I made, I recorded my first album in 1988, and it was produced by Michael Stipe, the singer from R.E.M. Um, and uh, so, and that record came out in 1990, it was called Little. So um, I've been doing this a long time. I've, uh, I've uh, toured around a lot. I've played many shows. I've, uh, I've met uh, very many of my musical heroes. And I've, uh, I've um, opened for a lot of great bands, and I've uh, actually recorded with a lot of great people and uh, jammed with a lot of great bands. I have even was in an Oscar-winning movie one time. Uh, and um, yeah, so I've, I'm kind of a, an old guy. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an old guy. I think I was uh, maybe 24 when my first record came out, and now I'm uh, 43, so that's a long time to be making music, yeah. I mean, not to be making music, but to be, uh, yeah, an active uh, professional musician. And but, but before I made my first album, I was a bum. Um, yeah, I was an actual bum. But Michael Stipe wanted me to uh, record my songs before I died. Uh, which he thought I was going to do any day now. So he saved my life. Yeah. And, uh, actually, he, he produced two of my albums. And uh, let's see, what else have I done? Yeah, well, I started out as just a solo singer songwriter. And uh, slowly, I decided that it'd be fun to have bands and play with bands. And still, you know, I write these songs by myself. And so it's really fun for me to collaborate with other musicians to record these things. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a very lonely thing to write songs, you know, um, where I sit around by myself and, uh, you know, compose uh, uh, pour my brains out onto uh, paper and then uh, make up little melodies to go with them. So it's very... Um, it's very good for the heart, I think, to uh, to play with other musicians. You know? and, uh, when, um, like this new band I have, I can't believe they would want to play with me. It uh, makes me very happy because sometimes I get um, I don't have very much confidence, you know, that people would even give a crap to hear my songs, you know. So it's it's really fun to do. Let's see, I think that's, can't think of anything else about my career really. Yeah. I write the songs myself, and the way it is, is that if somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I'd like to play with you, then I say, okay, <laughs> you know, I mean, this is the way this record happened is that, um, you know, these guys said, we'd love to record with you. And so, you know, I said, yes. I usually don't, you know, go looking for these people, you know. Like my last album, um, Van Dyke Parks and Bill Frizzell uh, said they wanted to record with me and I was like, oh, you know, God, I'm honored. Yeah, I love it. So this is it, you know. And the same way with when I made my first album, you know. I wasn't looking to have a career in the music business. I just was writing songs. And Michael Stipe came to me and said, 
Let's make a record. And so it's always been kind of, um, you know, the kindness of uh, friends and strangers. You know, I wrote all the songs, and uh, and, and my friend Jim Cohen, who's a, a kind of famous independent uh, filmmaker and documentarian, um, um, very arty kind of dude, said he wanted to to make an album, wanted to produce an album for me um, because he hated my last two albums. And he said he wanted to make a real, a good Vic Chestnut record, and so. He also is really good friends with Fugazi, he made a documentary about them, and was um, um, good friends with uh, Silver Mount Zion, and those people in Montreal. And so he said, these people and you could make the best album. And so I sent him 40 songs in the emails, you know, and he picked the ones that he thought would make this album uh, a great album. And so. We basically, I sat in the studio in front of these people and I'd play the song and they would get ideas and we would, you know, just kind of start playing, you know. So really it's, it's like, um, I've said this before, it's kind of like um, Jim Cohn was a movie director, right? And he would, my songs were the script, right? And he's directing the movie based on my script of these lyrics. And he um, chose actors, these singer, I mean these players and everybody, um, to uh, perform these uh, these scripts. And he kind of let us improvise, you know. Except he would give us direction. Sometimes he would say, "Well, this song I want a big drums, you know, and I want big distortion." And then, okay, now go action. And that's kind of how it worked. It was a. Uh, you know, very much um, each musician bringing, you know, their talent and their ideas to the actual song. Song structure and lyrics were all my idea, but the actual notes that they played were all their ideas. You know? And so it's very much a collaboration, an improvisation, and uh, yeah, recorded very organically. Um, you know, um, we'd rehearse once or twice. And then we'd roll tape, and we'd play all together, mostly, and uh, yeah, very organic. To do lists on a long yellow legal pad. Blue winds are not framed by basic black resplendent tables, great forests of paper plates, and carrying. The weight of the world saps every ounce of your strength. 